everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is my first like proper makeup look with my new camera. This is actually the second video I've ever filmed with this camera, but it is my first makeup look. I decided to do a talk through video just because I also wanted to see the background noise and other stuff as well while I'm editing. I do apologize for the background noise and the auto focusing noise and anything else if you can hear it. Like I said, I am still learning how to use this camera, still learning um, the ins and the outs of it and anything else, but um, hopefully it's better quality than my phone. The fact I don't have to sit here and use my phone anymore is actually really nice. I can still sit here and talk to my friends on Facebook and things like that while I'm filming and it actually is really, really good. Um, right now I'm sitting in here with my blind down, my ring light on and my ceiling fan on and it's as hot as anything. Um, even though it's only 23 outside but I reckon it's hotter than 23 um, because it's the only way I can get my camera to be somewhat good but I hope you really do enjoy this video it is a back to school look slash what I used to wear in high school and the products I used and everything will be listed down below in the description box so please check that out as well and if you are interested in seeing the makeup that I am wearing right now, then let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I mentioned in the intro that this is my first time filming a makeup video with my camera. I filmed this tiny little segment earlier and I've come to the conclusion that using my ring light thing is a little bit better than na uh, full natural lighting on this camera. Um, I have turned all the like beautifying settings off it had like um, face blurring and things like that. I have turned all that off. So I'm hoping that this looks a lot better. I've had to turn my ceiling fan on, close my door, close my blinds and everything. I've actually got my phone here now. It is so great actually finally filming with a camera. However, today's video is going to be, as I have mentioned, and it's also in the title, sort of a like back to school makeup idea slash how I did my makeup in high school because I thought it would be a good idea and seeing as school goes back in just under a month, um, I thought it would be a good idea. I did a back to school look last year. If I can find it, I will link it down below. It's probably not that good, but I was self tanned in that one. This time I'm not, this is, I actually do have a bit of a natural tan, but this is my natural color right now. So if you're interested in seeing what I did to Wear this makeup, this is pretty much like year 11 and year 12. I kind of didn't start fully wearing makeup till then. But if you're interested, then let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to put my hair, my hair back. I used to use this really old, disgusting, like, white headband. Okay, so I did not wear a primer on my face. Um, because the foundation that I wore, I don't really like wearing a primer with them. Um, so the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is pretty much the only foundation... This is pretty much the only foundation that I can just walk into the store, pick up and use. That is drugstore um, or cheap. I um, could not afford massive expensive makeup that much while I was in high school. So this is what I used to use. This is in 110. Or I was using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. Um, they must I, they haven't reformulated it, but it's just suddenly changed on my skin. I don't like the way it looks, but I love this. So I'm going to use this. And because I actually have quite a natural tan right now, I'm going to mix in some of the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation just to make it darker so it does match. This is also my favorite, one of my favorite foundations, but I did not have this while I was in high school. I'm going to mix them together and apply them. I am going to apply them using a beauty blender today. I did used to use the Chi Chi sponge, the one that's bright yellow, but I don't have that at the moment. Um, I've only got this. They work almost exactly the same. Um, but yes, I'm going to mix these together and apply them to my face with the beauty blender. I apologize if I am sitting out of frame a little bit. My ring light is actually over my viewfinder, so I can only half see it. If the colour of this is too pale, it's okay. I can just mix in some bronzer. I'm not quite dark enough to just use this on its own, so mixing them together will be perfect, and I think I have made way too much. 
I used to use the Maybelline foundation because it actually has great coverage on my skin and like it lasted relatively well and it matched me it didn't break me out it looks really nice and smooth on my skin um, the only thing I will say is I hate applying it with a brush it looks absolutely terrible applied with a brush on my skin it looks heavy it looks streaky it looks cakey it emphasizes all texture and um, like all my scarring like I didn't have as much scarring and stuff back then because I didn't really start breaking out too much till after I finished school okay so now for concealer I used to use the elf I think it's called like the full coverage concealer in the squeezy tube I don't have that anymore so I'm just gonna use my Maybelline um, fit me concealer underneath my eyes this one's in the color 15 I would use my Focalore concealer but it is actually way too pale for me right now like it's really pale for when I'm fair but it's too pale for me when I have even the slightest bit of a tan Under my eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless or Set and Smooth. I am not sponsored by Maybelline, I just like their stuff. Um, this one was the Dewy and Smooth or Set and Smooth. It wasn't quite enough for my actual face, so I use it for underneath my eyes and I like it. It's not my favourite, but it does look very nice and does its job. Okay, so on my face, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This one's in transparent. I really actually don't like this. I am going to use it up. For this, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Flat Top Powder Brush. All my brushes were clean today, actually, too, which is great. This would be my favourite powder if it just didn't make my foundation oxidise. I'm just using it today because I'm also not going anywhere. And don't want to like use up my other powders that I have and I'm also pretty sure this makes me sneeze because every time I use it I sneeze like crazy now back in high school I did not have this brush I can't even remember what I used for powder radio so the one high-end product I did use was the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer I still love this to this date um, definitely going to be like repurchases and I can't remember what brush I used oh I used the real techniques powder brush but that's just way too big for that so now I'm using the elf complexion brush for this powder and I really like it it's a bit smaller still does the job very well but it's just a bit smaller bronze I didn't like bron too much bronzer uh, but I just wanted enough to add some warmth to my face and this has got to be the best smelling bronzer ever 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 okay so now for blush um, pretty much throughout my whole high school life and I mean 7 to 10 I used the Bow Beauty blush in Pink Goddess I still love this it's like that really nice peachy pink and it's got a really nice glow to it and it's two bucks so really you can't go wrong with it I didn't use blush that much until I got to year 11 and 12 and I found the Maybelline foundation because every other foundation I used was like really cheap which meant it probably was not good for my skin my skin type and it came off all the time <sighs> So my grandmother came in, I'm sorry guys, but I took that opportunity once I stopped recording to do my brows. I used my Bug K Brow Pomade, but in when I was at school I used the e.l.f. brow kit. I just don't like that as much anymore, my um, pomades are a lot better. This one's in the colour Chocolate. Um, also throughout year 11 I used the Chi Chi one. I had it in medium brown I think, but yeah, that's the one I used. So now for highlight. I pretty much used the Anastasia one in Starlight, 
once I bought this, it's like the only one I used. Um, but other than that, I didn't use highlight because this blush does have a, does have a bit of a glow to it. And um, I got so oily throughout the day because I hadn't sorted out my skincare that I didn't use highlighter. So sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't, but today I'm going to. Um, this was the only one I could find at the time that was pale enough for me. So I either packed it on or not at all. Sometimes I put a little bit on the end of my nose. Definitely my cupid's bow. And I used to use the Aldi contour brush, but I actually like this a lot better now. Okay. So then on my eyes, I would put my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, if I wanted a drugstore one for the day, I would use my e.l.f. Eye primer, still the same ones I use these day, to this day. And then I would just grab a little bit of this light brown here. And I would use that in my crease. So that's all I would do. I would then take my Real Techniques base shadow brush and the same color here and I'd put that under my brow and on my inner corner. I'm so used to seeing myself with my full coverage Focalore concealer that the like medium coverage of the Maybelline Fit Me looks really weird on my skin now. But that's basically all I would do for eyeshadow. Now I, will, I would sometimes use winged eyeliner I'm not going to do that today just because I can't be bothered, um, but I used to use the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner, I no longer like that. Um, I use my designer brand's Absolute Liquid Eyeliner now, um, but I'm just not going to use that. So now I'm using mascara and I have the e.l.f. Uh, I think this is the vo vo um, volumizing one going to put some of that one on first and mine kind of broke, not broke, but my wand is bent and it should not be. waterproof mascara on my lower lashes because I used to do that all the time. I am using my designer brand's lash extensions but I used to use a Maybelline one. I can't quite remember what one it was but I used to use a Maybelline one I think. No, it was CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion um, waterproof. It was in the purple tube. That one. I used to use that in waterproof. There we go. And I used to experiment with lip colours. Here in Australia we have uniforms and I was lucky enough though my uniform for the senior part of high school was white and grey. So pretty much anything went with it so I used to experiment with lip colours and in the summer I would wear brighter ones, in the winter sometimes I'd even wear dark reds, like I really didn't care, I would just wear whatever lip colour I wanted that day. And today I'm actually going to use like a peachy pink. So first off I'm going to use my bow lip liner and I don't know what colour it is because I tore the sticker. And for lipstick I'm going to use the Maybelline, I believe this was from the Rebel Bloom collection. Um, this one is 745 Peach Poppy. Maybelline lipsticks are actually my go-to formula um, for like drugstore. I really only have like three or four high-end lip products. Um, I prefer drugstore ones just because I honestly don't wear that, ma that many, but Maybelline is probably my go-to. I love it. I love these. They're like somewhat matte, but they're not drying matte, but they're not glossy or anything. I really love these. And the colours in the Rebel Bloom collection are beautiful. The makeup or pretty much like a look like this that I wore throughout high school. If, you, if I had a little bit extra time of a morning, imagine this look with winged eyeliner and black eyeliner in my waterline. Um, sometimes I did different 
looks like I'd wake up earlier and I would do different eyeshadow looks and things like that. And of course, sometimes I'd wear a different foundation other than this one. Sometimes I'd wear a different blush. But, um, like, I tried to use the products that... I did use, I just don't have a lot of them anymore because they either were empty and I have not repurchased them or I just um, like them now. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Please check out the description box down below for my previous back to school makeup look and my social media sites and anything else and I will see you in my next video.